friends, it's Lorian Witch here with your monthly reading for October for all 12 signs. Uh, this, re this introduction actually is just going to be the same um, because I wanted to reach every single one of you and basically say a big huge hug and a big thank you to your consistent support, your comments, your interactions. Um, people on Facebook who've been liking some of my posts, Twitter, which I'm now back on. I did get hacked temporarily, um, but I'm on Twitter again now. Um, and generally just being awesome people, subscribing, sharing videos. Um, I think I've mentioned in several other videos that I did not expect as big of an audience, mainly, and resonance with a lot of people. So the fact that you will really um, connect with me as well as a reader that means a lot and I like that you show your support um, to my patrons on Patreon thank you so much as well um, every little helps honestly it's really I'm going to do everything that I can to invest in this channel and hopefully address you more personally in the future and get more tarot decks get more ways and methods of giving you these messages and it's a shame that I've not got enough to invest at this point in time myself, but any help that you have is amazing. Um, also to the people who've asked for readings from me, every time you send me an email and say, you know, that you have um, resonated with the reading and, um, you know, you know the feedback that I get and you tell me, you know, where, I'm, you, know, where, where you feel um, that the, the reading has taken you and the messages, it just validates a lot of what I do and it keeps me really on, on a higher vibration. Um, I didn't anticipate that this beginning was going to be so rambly and full of love, however I'm very pleased that it is. It's probably because Mercury's in Libra right now or something, I don't know. Um, but yes, I really, really enjoy talking to all of you and thank you so much. Details of how to get in touch with me for a reading. I do Skype now, a video and email. I also do customised readings, so if you don't see anything that you feel suits you, do ask me if you email and let me know. Facebook, message me if you need to, connect with me on there. I, I'm not just a reader on the side of the screen. I am here trying to connect with every one of you. If I could come and give you a high five and do a personal reading for every single one of you, I probably would. Um, but yeah, just thank you so much and check out the ways to contact me. They'll also be at the end of your reading as well. Um, it does apply to your sun, rising and moon sign. I think if I was to get into any other planet, it might be a little bit of a shaky thing there. But hopefully September will ha or has been good to you and we're now going into October very looking forward to seeing what holds for you so let's get to your monthly sign reading hello Capricorn thank you for tuning in for your October reading for 2015 we have the Truth Seekers Tarot by David Fontana this month because my other decks are getting very tired, so I thought I'd give them a rest. And we also have the Energy Oracle cards to give us the overview feeling of the month. As usual, we have four cards, one each representing a week of the month, and also the overall Energy Oracle card seems to come through for the message overall. Now, funnily enough, the Energy card seems to have something to say very strongly here and it is the third chakra it's Archangel Camuel and this is all about feeling instinctively um, you know if you've passed somebody and you think oh I'm not sure of them they seem a bit of a, a very wrong character it's all about trusting that this month it's all about understanding the way that your body is showing you the warning signs and um, this is a solar plexus so I feel like this third chakra you know, it is the centre of your life source energy, it's the centre where people believe your soul lives. The issues here revolve around emotions of your personal energy, maybe some desire. Um, it's almost like willpower as well. So if you have um, enthusiasm about a project, it should be coming through very strongly for you. And it's a great time to move forward towards the completion of something maybe you've had in mind for a while. Your life force right now is vibrating with this power. 
And I feel like a lot of spirit and maybe your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a more focused, purposeful manner. Um, so go for it, basically. If if your intuition says, oh, I'm not sure, or, you know, trust it. But if not, then go for it. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in the first week. So this should be explanation enough when it comes to moving on. So the Wheel of Fortune here is literally like a lucky dip. Pick and mix, almost. You've got the monkey, you've got the sphinx. I've never seen one with angel wings on its back. And we've also got the hair. So this is literally like a carnival attraction. But I feel this is more like you have a lot of options to choose from. You have different results. You have different ways of doing things. If you don't get on the wheel, you'll never know where it's going to end up. So just like the London Eye, if you step on to the London Eye, you have a different perspective of everything. But the moment you get to the top, you're already on the way down to the bottom. If you can, enjoy the ride over because it's going to give you a sense of what you can achieve and then it's going to bring you to the bottom of the ladder again and it's going to be, okay, now I can work with this, I can, I've seen where I can go and let's push forwards. We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in the middle of the week, uh, sorry, in the middle of the month for October. This really proves that you can progress forwards and do, well, whatever you want really. The Four of Pentacles, I would say, is more along the lines of trying to understand your abilities. Um, the way that it seems to have come forward for you in this way, it could prove a little bit of a problem in some times. Um, this is structure and order, yes, and stability, I would say. Uh, but it's almost like you may have to view things in a more practical way, um... I would say that there is almost a sense of, um, how to put this, this is quite difficult to put into words the way that they're showing this here. It is reliability, it is practical wisdom, it's good humour, it's um, even something like science, you know, balancing the earth with the mechanical, that kind of thing. But there's something here that needs to grow into the Seven of Pentacles, which is where you reap what you've sown. Now, in a way, I feel like this is almost a jump. You jump from being getting ready to being com almost completely ready. So, it may be that somebody is coming in to get involved. I, f I do feel like this is another energy coming in, actually, to maybe assist you with your plans and will give you another direction to look at. Because I don't feel some of the people who you've met recently have been all that honest with you um there may actually be some kind of a relationship trouble or somebody around that area um somebody who means a lot to you may be kind of distancing themselves now either way you keep moving with your original plans so the four of pentacles jumps to the seven i feel like this is again oh i'm almost there right okay let's start it in motion oh i didn't expect this amount of attention i didn't expect this amount of etc etc this is a very stark jump that comes up here and this is also a very strong element that i believe is a sign you can gain whatever you want the seven of pentacles is a very strong feeling and just picking up the card to look at it closer because i know that they look the same you know, you've got three birds, you've got all these trees, and you've just got a different amount of signs here. But the energy of them is entirely different, and I always like to handle the cards as I'm reading them. Because it feels like, you know, it it speaks more. And... Right, the Seven of Pentacles here is a knowledge. So the secret potential that's hidden within. Okay, so you're looking at this with almost a sense of... Okay, so you, you've got several little caves there. You've got one cave in the Four of Pentacles. You've got almost like... Um, actually, you've got the same amount, but it just seems more obvious in the Seven of Pentacles that there's several different areas that you could potentially focus on. The energy, the investment, the somebody else coming in to help you, where somebody else may be taking away. You have the knowledge now, again, because you got to the top in the first week, having a look at the Wheel of Fortune, saying, OK, I can see everything clearly now. Now I know where I'm going to plan to go. 
you know, like if you could look at the map of London from the London Eye and say, oh, okay, I'll go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and then I'll reach my destination. It's that kind of feeling that you take through over these next three weeks. And I do feel that this is going to be setting you up for something very strongly. Um, it's it's a good feeling that I'm getting, and I don't know why I'm singing in that way, <laughs> but it seems like that's something very strong. So, judgment in the last week. Yeah, I'm just having a look at it, because judgment in this one seems to be a little bit more... Okay, this is more introspective. What actions have you taken do you now recognise as maybe being against your greater good? Don't judge yourself too harshly. I think that some of you may have been doing that or may have been, oh, is it, why do I always attract this type of person? Um, why do I always attract, you know, um, these events? Uh, why do these things always happen to me? Is it because I'm a bad person? Is it because I did this? Is it because I did that? No, it's probably not at all. It's, I think, just a way of karma coming back around from something maybe not even you've done, but you're caught up in the middle of it. So, so it's all about dealing with your karma as well as other people's. Be distinct where you draw the line. It could be that you're involved with somebody else who is going through a very tumultuous time, they're going through their own karma, and that could in itself bring up its own challenges for you. You may not know exactly how to handle something, you know, because it's not your problem, it's not your cross to bear. So don't judge yourself or others too harshly because of what seems to be going on around you. I think also this is judgment time for the project. You may want to give it a test run. You may want to give your plans a little run through. Um... And you may, it's almost like you're standing up on stage and you're open to critics now. Uh, or you're getting tested on something. But don't test yourself or judge yourself before you go in and think, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. There's no way I'm going to get it. It's almost like an audition. Um, don't do that. You know, have faith in yourself. Have faith in the path that's in front of you. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's something that I feel that you are going to gain perspective of. Again, maybe you have to take another course of the wheel, but this opportunity is there. Fortune doesn't always land in your lap. Fortune lands to the side, and you may have to go and scoop it up. So, take care of, you know, where you're going. Take care of um, yourself, mainly, with this third chakra, especially the solar plexus. If your gut says you need to try again, try again. But don't trust any instinct. Um, actually, I don't believe it would be instinct. I think don't trust any lie in your head, the ego, that says no, 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 no. You're not good enough. You're not this. You're not that. Don't trust that one. Trust the instinct that says, I need to do it. You know, it's, for instance, going from personal experience, if you have a query, or sorry, if you have a book, that means you have to query an agent to see if they were interested in your book. It can be very scary. You could imagine that because of all the competition that's out there, you're never going to get anywhere. Don't listen to that. You will never know if you could get anywhere if you don't at least try. So this is what I feel the judgment is. Do not judge yourself too harshly. Don't be worried if you're being dealt with um, other people's karma. Don't worry. Please just relax into it. Nothing has to be planned to within an inch of its life because that could take away somebody else's free will and somebody else's karma probably comes in to mess it up anyway. So just try and be as easy as you possibly can with this in the last week and just take the judgment off the table. Don't give in to it. You will be wakened up to the wisdom in due course. And in the meantime, if you would like me to take a look into anything more personal, you can order a personal reading with me from my website or arrange something more customisable with me. You can also invest in this channel. I'm on Patreon now, so if you'd like to become a patron of mine, um, it will be really handy because I'll use anything that comes through there to invest in cards, different divination techniques, and eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to stop using the iPhone to um, do the readings for you and address you maybe in a more personable manner with the editing systems and things. So that would be really good to use. And if you just want to subscribe, comment, 
follow me on Facebook, whatever you want to do, and connect with me that way. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you, as I said. Um, and this is basically the reason that I started the channel. It was to give readings for free, so people could have the guidance of, you know, whoever to, whoever it is that comes down to me to speak to me and who gives me the talent to actually look at these cards and interpret them for you. You know, it, who, whoever resonates with that. You know, that was the reason that I started with this channel. So thank you all for watching this, and I look forward to reading for you in November.